Hello and welcome to the studio. Today is a sp special day. I'm working on the portrait of uh, David Bellavia. Um, he was honor of the Medal of Honor. Um, amazing, amazing gentleman. So uh, a little bit of the a little bit of the history on that. So basically, uh, I'm working from a photo. Uh, it's the official photo of David. Uh, I usually like to work from my photo, but for that particular, pa particular painting. I was okay working from uh, another photo, you know, that I didn't take. Um, uh, you know, the the whole process. I'm working on the canvas, which is uh, four by five, um, so 48 inches wide by uh, 16 inches um, uh, high. Uh, I already projected the drawing, so uh, when I work on commission works like this, I usually I usually like to start with uh, a little bit of a projection that gives me the big the big directions uh you know you can try it if you want to you know some people say it's cheating uh when you work on on something projected i still think the work is still the same and uh, i could have used a grid anyway so it just to you know it just to make the, the the process a bit more easy uh i most of the portrait i do for myself you know personal work i don't use the projector but on this particular project and a couple of others i use the projector so uh, I usually start pretty, you know, I like to start with uh, the, the big the big mass, as you know already. So, you know, I'm painting the, the uniform, pretty much monochromatic right now. I will get into some colors after, um, you know, I'm, I'm just outlining everything right now. I just want to show you a little bit how I work on the portrait. So basically, as I said, you know, I have the, the portrait outlined on the, on the canvas. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of the close-up of what I'm doing right now in the next uh, in the next footage. So I start pretty uh, simply. I put you know simple colors. I don't try right now to bl blend um, the color together. I'm trying just to um, you know get uh, really easy. I work with really transparent colors, not to lose the drawing. And I'm trying not to work too much. So, you know, right now what I want to do is basically um, to get rid of the, the color of the canvas in the background. So I want to cover the whole surface first. And then after I will let it dry and I will start working in more details. I'm working first, so I put the dark areas. You know, if you've seen the, the portrait I've done of the Beatles, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, you know, the, the skin uh, will come, you know, as, as I'm doing right now, the skin comes after. Once I put the eyebrow, um, the eye, the lips, the shadow on the nose, everything that is darker. I'm trying really right now to work only with transparent colors. Um, so not a lot of, uh, a little bit of white and a little bit of, um, a lot of turpentine obviously. So the color is transparent. And as you can tell, I don't work with a small brush. I still work with a large, um, a large brush. I'm trying most, mostly to get the, the shape of the face, you know, through the, the colors and so on and the lights to get, you know, that, 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 you know, the, 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 the cheeks, um, uh, the cheekbones, the jawline, the nose, the nostril, the mouth, the eyebrow. As I say, it's just right now I'm doing something really simple. So I'm putting some, not details, I would not call them details. I'm just managing the passage. I don't want any arch line, you know, like there's no arch line on the face. Obviously, you know, everything is smooth and, and round. So, you know, working with a brush that is not too wet, with not too much painting, um, I just add a little bit of colors in there to make sure that, you know, I have that, that uh, volume on the face. Uh, this is a view that's the same thing, you know, it's just another angle. So just to show you, um, I mean, the view prior was pretty much from my point of view. Now you're seeing the painting from the side. I know some painters like to work, you know, from one point and extending, expanding what they're doing. I don't work this way. I try to work everything at the same time to make sure I have all the colors. As you can see, the forehead is a bit reddish. Um, I have some more yellow, some more orange. So at that time in the painting, I'm already putting colors together. Uh, you know, I already explained that skin is not only one color monochromatic. Skin has a lot of, of uh, um, other colors coming in. So we have some greens, we have some blue, we have some... So when I say greens and blue, I'm not talking about like real green. I'm talking greener, 
than the other colors. So it's more about, you know, locating the colors uh, on the wheel of color and moving them a little bit, you know, either on the blue side or more on the green side, if we could say that the, the skin is orange or, or red, you know, as a, as a major value. So I'm enhancing a little bit the eyes with a smaller brush. I'm still not trying to blend or to smooth the colors right now. All I'm trying to do is to get the character of the portrait, of the model. Same thing, we go back to a view from the side. My, 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 the face is pretty much completely covered with color. So now with a smaller brush, uh, I'm gonna, you know, as I said, I'm gonna outline the nose and the eyes and the lips. I mean, everything that is stronger in terms of, uh, of uh, colors and, and value and, you know, brightness. I'm still not sure about the background. You know, when I start a portrait like this, there's a lot of uncertainty, which, which I like, you know, it's not like I know exactly what I'm gonna do because the painting, the scale of the canvas and so on can, can bring me somewhere else. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of details. Um, you know, I'm a former military myself, so I'm pretty sensitive to all the details of the uniform, you know, the medals, all the, all the, the, the symbols, all the logo, everything that is uh, on the uniform. And I know for military people, it's something important because, you know, it says about their story, about what they've done, about where, where they've been through, uh, you know, the training and so on. So it's something important. So, you know, as I'm working on the portrait, I know the uniform is also going to be something important. So this video is, a, you know, it's a, um, it's a couple of minutes video. The, the, the truth is that I worked on that portrait for about a month. Sometimes I work for like two or three minutes a day. You know, sometimes the painting is, um, as you can tell on this view, you know, I've already done quite a few things. At the beginning, I wanted to, to leave the flag this way, you know, just flat and now, you know, I'm, I'm doing more modulation and more volume. I thought, you know, it was necessary. As you can see, I've worked on the uniform. So as I said, you know, all those little details are pretty well done. When I start a painting like this, uh, I, I don't necessarily know exactly what I'm going. So the, the background for me at the beginning was, uh, you know, I thought maybe the red color was good and, you know, I felt it was a bit too much. So now I'm putting a, a coat of green, which is going to be great anyway with that red uh, as an under layer because it's going to give some, you know, some nice, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, texture and color. Uh, the other thing I've done on that portrait, I've modified the end. Um, his ends were closed and I wanted to have something less stiff. So I, I, you know, I use some other reference, some other photos. I usually try always to find reference when I do portraits. What I mean by reference is uh, documents, um, you know, because I want, I want the anatomy. I want the, the skin tone. I want everything to be, to be, you know, uh, part of the, of the painting. I'm trying to keep the focus on his eyes. So you, you will see, you know, I'm, I will I will put a photo of the painting at the end of the video. You will see that the flag is not really detailed. Nothing is really detailed, you know, because I want to keep the tension on his face. I want the viewer to end up in his eyes, which is for me, for a portrait, which is a key thing. So I let the painting sink in a little bit. That helped me to blend it and to get rid of the brushwork. So if I wait like 10, 15 minutes, you know, with my brush, I can go over the, the, the coat and just smooth and it's what you're seeing when I'm doing, when I'm painting over some of the areas. So this is the portrait of David. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it was an honor for me to do the portrait of such a, such a gentleman. And uh, I, I love doing portraits like this, with uniforms and so on. You know, it reminds me of, uh, you know, the old, the old time, the old masters and so on. And, uh, you know, it's really, it's really something interesting, you know, all those details and, uh, you know, the medals and, and so on. It was, uh, it was really an interesting portrait to paint.